Hello there YouTubers. Today I want to do a little video on a little interesting fact that I've figured out about Google Earth. Maybe other folks have already done it too, but I'm going to put it on YouTube for those who may not have caught it. Uh, Google Earth has a file that they use for saving all of their place marks on. So and it goes right into your computer. And this is the KMZ right here. Notice I brought up the properties and it says KMZ Google Earth. And uh, we'll talk about more about this in a minute, how to handle this. Uh, what it's good for is uh, you could take this and put it in an email and send it to a friend across the country who can look at the trip that you made. You can send it over to a buddy's house and let him see it. Uh, if you have a group that's going to be touring together, and you can't always get together every minute of every day to discuss uh, points on a trip, you can email them uh, the dot, basically. Uh, so I'm going to bring you up on Google Earth and show you how to do that first. All right, I've already done my uh, CNO canal for, as a route. Uh, it's fairly popular and people know about it. And here we are, we're CNO canal. The first thing you need to do is put a place mark, bring up your place marks, and right here, and as you can see it, you need to label it. Uh, entrance to the CNO canal, uh, or, or however you want to put it. The address, if you happen to know what it is, you can put that in. Uh, as you see, I just put start of CNO uh, uh, trail north end. Uh, right up here, by the way, is the Allegheny. So they they merge together right along in here. But we're just doing a CNO for this this video. Uh, now, after you've named the place mark, you go back to the place mark, click on it, you click save as, and it's going to pop up here, as you noticed, in this box. I've already labeled it as the CNO, so we're not going to do that part again. But you can see it here, and you need to notice where you, you're saving it to. In my case, I'm saving it to my and pl Google Places, that a folder I made up myself, and then click save on it. Well, I don't have to click save. I've already got it here. So you would click save and X out of that. Now, that's the one end of the trail, okay? At the other end of the, your trail, let's move this down a little bit. We're going to back out. I've also already marked the other end of the CNO trail. back out of Google here a little bit further and here's my other place mark I'm gonna move it to the center here and we're gonna go back down on that place mark as you see I have put the other end of the CNO canal here and there we are so now I know from my start to my stop or both entrances, whichever the case may be, which way to go. So what I want to do now is I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to get directions from here. I can go back to my other place mark. Bring this back down. Here we go. We're going to bring our place marks here. And I'm going to get, let's see it brings me on down here. I'm going to right click on that place mark, directions to here. And Google is going to go ahead and generate a map for the two points that I have here on my Google Earth. You notice it's bringing it out and it's showing you the entire route. 
no, I don't want to go by car. I'm going by bicycle. So I go over here to the left-hand side and get for the get the directions. You'll notice that it says car, the train, the walk-in, and now Google Earth has put on bike. So we are going to click on bike route, and it's going to change. Now it's moved over to the CNO because uh, it's a known bike route, and it's logged into Google this way. Now I've got Google Earth, okay, in the bicycle mode. And as you see, we come back down. There it is. Now let's say, now that you've got these two points, well, let's say along the route, of any route, you could not find a campground in the area that you were at. Let's get close to dark. And you rode a pretty good ways. So you want to put a place that you can that you've been to you know it's there you camped out there but it's not a place that's on a map uh, we'll zoom on in uh, for let's say stealth camping purposes you found a really cool spot you could stealth camp into all right here is the the, the trail and there's no camping av available so you went across the road and you found a really cool spot to do a little stealth camping for the evening or a day or two. So even though this may be a mountain here, let's go ahead and use it. Here's our place mark. We're going to move it up. You camped up uh, right along in here somewhere pretty close. So you can write in uh, my camp spot. Now, you go ahead and do that. And once you've done that, you'll move it over here to and click OK. So now it's on your Google Earth as your stealth camping spot or camping spot, whatever the case may be. Or You can also do this for a, a bed and breakfast if you find one or a hotel that you got off the path with and went camping to. Why is my Google Earth moving? Now, here we go. We're moving again. So now I'm going to go ahead and click that. I'm going to click Save As. And again, the folder pops up, and I'm going to click My Camp. Click Save. And there, it's all there. Okay. Now we're going to reduce the Google Earth again. If it'll do it. Anyway, I'm gonna go to where I keep my Google Earth marks. I'm gonna open the folder. And here are all the marks that I had put in, place marks that I had put in to Google Earth. Now, you can take these place marks you can take them and copy them. Click on copy. Sorry folks, my computer is moving a little slow here. This recording program takes a lot of power, obviously. You can go ahead and make a new folder. Type in, uh, let's say, my trip to the Put in a, my trip to C and O, okay? That way you know where you're at. You can take these, just like uh, handling an MP3. Click copy. Click on the new folder and click paste. 
and what's going to happen is now you still got them in your Google Earth you have a backup of them and there they are they're copied you can take these you can burn them to a CD you can put them in an SD chip you can put them in any kind of external hard drive also another neat feature you can do with these points is we'll show you something really cool you can click on mail then using Windows Live or Google I'm sorry Gmail which Google owns now you can send it off to your mail okay there uh, you can there's many ways you can move and, and, and transfer these if you have a drop shoot a share file program you can do it that way also so that you can just as you handled any mp3 any video you can handle these the same way as far as copy and paste and everything uh, there you have it a nice little video on this I'll, I would like to give a shout out to uh, Dave from uh, three wheel journey enjoyed your videos man really did also for all you guys who are doing uh, uh, doing trips uh, uh, when you're doing your your videos please th take the time and, and show the entrances of, from both ends of the trip you're making with the address so that we can Google it up and find it and uh, if you don't I'm gonna tell you I, I first time I typed in CNO uh, there was two million CNOs uh, things show up uh, target had three th things for CNO that they were they were selling so uh, uh, it, it simplifies it if you've got the entrance of both ways with the address on it if you can find it for people who want to see your ride share your ride do your ride and use the same points you did you can uh, you can actually uh, make a bicycle route that's not the CNO just going from one part of the country to the other and make tags along as you as you do your turns a left turn or right turn uh, at what road you turn it up as long as you label each one of those uh, place marks uh, you can send the whole folder full of place marks to someone else to load up uh, to their Google Earth and be able to follow the same trail you took and know especially if they know it's a safe route uh, thank you very much uh, for your time and patience uh, I want to give a special shout out to Dave uh, from uh, three wheel journey Dave enjoyed your videos and appreciate it for you guys who are taking these trips uh, uh, word of wise uh, go to Walmart get the $89 uh, external hard drive that hooks right up to your laptop and as you're doing your videos uh, before you edit them after you edit them whenever uh, click copy and paste and back them up on that hard drive so if something happens and your laptop crashes in the meantime you still have your backup videos on the external hard drive thank you guys for uh, all the videos out there you have put on YouTube have a great day may the wind be at your back